This otherwise indicated all the following scripture quotations are taken from the Holy Bible New Living Translation, was copied at the Tyndale House Foundation, used by permission of Tyndale House Publishers, all rights reserved. Today, we're going to be stirring up some drama, so let's watch this TikTok and get straight into it. When a man says that he feels unappreciated in his relationship or his marriage, I feel like it's really important to take a look at why he feels like he should be appreciated. So I feel like too many men think they should be appreciated for holding down a job, which is dumb. You need money regardless of your relationship status. I feel like there are too many men that want to be rewarded for doing chores. You know, that thing that's so easy when they're not doing it, and suddenly they want a Congressional Medal of Honor for doing the goddamn dishes. They treat chores like the punch card at their favorite mediocre chain restaurant. They're over here like, I got seven stamps on my chore card, Susan. Where's my goddamn BJ? And I know I'm going to make a lot of guys mad about this, but man, I'm telling you, chores and a job are not things worth appreciating. If you want to be appreciated, by your partner, learn what they like and do it for them simply because you want to see them smile. Have a wonderful day. Okay, so while that may be a little bit controversial for some people, um, I have to say that I agree. I think that doing the bare minimum in a relationship is the worst possible thing that you can do for your partner because otherwise you're like treating them like a parent. But that's not where the drama is, even though a lot of people might disagree with me. And um, hi, I'm Peachy Pai. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Sorry for the late intro, but uh, if this is your first time here, please consider liking and subscribing. And you are so welcome to join me on my I guess, TikTok exploration video in which I find some drama. But let's get straight into what the problem is. And, and you let me know in the comments if you could see this immediately. <laughs> okay, so here we have Taylor Rag 617 right who is an absolute chad in the comments and in the worst of ways <laughs> so let's check out what's been happening as you can see there's a bunch of replies to this conversation that was happening and it is absolutely wild okay let's go so Taylor Rag says no I'm gonna have to say you're wrong on this one both partners need to feel appreciated and values valued a relationship is supposed to be 50 50 um yeah, it says with but i'm guessing that that is somewhere lost here so uh, so a sentence samurai responds if you're not trying to intentionally miss the point there is a follow-up that you can be tagged in if you're interested right so taylor responds I'm not missing the point, I just think you're wrong, it's human nature to want to feel valued. So wanting to feel valued for putting the effort into a relationship is not wrong. In fact, you should be appreciated for that. And if you aren't, then maybe it's time to reevaluate the re relationship. Ascendant Samurai replies, Pretty sure you're just missing the point in favor of wanting to be praised for taking up space. Good for you, here's a gold star. <laughs> Absolute child responds over there. Taylor responds, If I'm missing the point, then what is it exactly? Because it sounds like you're saying I shouldn't want to be valued for doing my part in a relationship. Also, being praised and being appreciated are not the same thing. So no, I don't expect praise for just putting my 50% into the relationship. Then PV678 res responds to this whole thing says, You should not expect appreciation for doing the things you would do even if you weren't in a relationship. So Taylor Ray comes right back and says, Yes, you should. Why wouldn't you? If I'm putting effort into a relationship, why would I not want to be appreciated for that? Ascendant Samurai responds, Because the things we are discussing don't have anything to do with the relationship, my guy. Do you know how to date people? <laughs> Taylor Rag responds again. It's just like work. People value being appreciated at work regardless of the fact you would have to do your job anyway to get paid. Alamayo, you're just going to ignore the fact that you literally said marriage or relationship and your caption says marriage slash relationship. Besides, what do you think dating is? It's looking for a relationship, so you should treat it the same as you would a relationship. A sentence samurai is getting upset right now. <laughs> he says, how dedicated are you to not getting the effing point, Taylor? Yeah, no, I'm not swearing, I'm a child, whatever. <laughs> Chores and a job are not worth appreciating in a relationship, right? They have nothing to do with relationships. 
What effort are you putting into your relationship to warrant appreciation? That is the point. Taylor responds and says, So then there's no problem if I stay home all day and don't work and don't clean. That's perfectly acceptable, right? Ascendant Samurai responds, JFC Taylor, I can't tell if you're trolling or just an idiot. (laughs) Taylor responds, I'm completely serious. You're saying that having a job and doing your share of chores means nothing. So that means it doesn't matter if I don't do it. You can't have it both effing ways. It's either worth something to you and thus should be appreciated or it's not. So Pythia, I think that's how you say it, says chores and a job are going to have to be done whether or not you are in a relationship, a roommate situation or living alone, period. <laughs> then PV678 comes right back in and says, sure, that's always nice, especially if you go above and beyond, but it should not be expected for doing the bare minimum, which is holding a job slash chores. Holding a job and cleaning up after yourself is not putting effort into a relationship. It is putting effort into loving. Great job, BB. <laughs> so Taylor responds, it is putting effort into the relationship. Like you said, it's pretty much bare minimum effort, but it is effort. <laughs> so Taylor keeps going on. When you're with someone, you're not cleaning up after yourself. You're cleaning up after each other which I agree is required, but still deserves some appreciation. Now, I'm not saying you deserve a medal of anything. I think you meant medal. But it's not too much just to want to feel like you're valued in the relationship. So PV responds, effort into a relationship is doing things that make another person feel important. If a job and chores is it, then great. But did you ask them? Taylor responds, if I felt like my effort to maintain a 50-50 relationship means nothing to you, then why would I keep doing, I guess he meant keep doing it, right? Pee says, again, that is putting effort into loving, not relationship effort. Unless your partner has said, that's what makes them feel important. Did you ask? (laughs) Doing the bare minimum is never seen in a positive light for a good reason. Bare minimum equals doing the least you can do to avoid punishment. I don't know if I'd agree with that assessment, but I get where PV is coming from. Taylor says, only doing the bare minimum all the time is not a good thing, no. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't be appreciated when you do at least that much. And Taylor continues, are you saying you don't appreciate your significant others helping with with the chores? So PV responds again and says... And one should not expect to be valued for doing the bare minimum. The amount of effort you put into making a person happy equals their level of importance to you or their happiness's level of importance. Pee-wee responds and says, why? They help to make the mess so it's their job to clean it too. Like we learned at age 5. And Taylor responds, by definition, appreciation means to recognize value. So unless your significant other working and helping with chores is of no value to you, then you do appreciate it and that is at least a small effort into making that person happy they would be less happy if you didn't do it so it's of some value and i'm gonna stop there because there's 263 more responses of taylor and people in the comments saying the same things but taylor is determined to disagree with everyone (laughs) Oh, that was an absolute wonderful mess. <laughs> it was absolutely wonderful to read how ridiculous this comment section was. And I get, I do get where Taylor is coming from. I, I totally understand Taylor. Maybe you didn't receive enough praise in your life. Maybe you feel like you have low self-esteem and you need extra praise. Cool. Just address that and like speak to your partner. But <laughs> doing the bare minimum is not something that is worthy of praise or appreciation for example if okay like when you're a small child and you go to the bathroom without being in your pants that's a momentous accomplishment but if you're a teenager and you want to go to the bathroom you, you can't expect people to like roll out the red carpet because you didn't pee in your pants that's ridiculous you you are too old to think that way so i i do understand where taylor's coming from he just wants to be appreciated poor guy but in all seriousness when it comes to relationships right it it, it, let me put it maybe into a, a way that taylor can understand if you go to work 
your boss is not going to applaud you for getting to work on time and doing your job. That's, it, it just doesn't make any sense because you are receiving something from that place. There's a benefit to you being there and doing the things that you're supposed to do. You don't have to like the place. The place doesn't have to be friendly towards you or whatever, but you are receiving a benefit for being there. And relationships are the same. You are receiving a benefit for being in a relationship. And so doing the bare minimum is not something that's worthy of praise, Taylor. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I hope that someone is able to give you the praise that you feel that you need, but I also hope that you are able to understand and see that you're not a child in a relationship. So yeah, anyway, that was the drama that we read up on. It was absolute crazy. Please check out Ascendant Samurai's uh, TikTok page because he is really, really awesome. Um, his story is actually really good where he talks about how he understood his toxic behaviors from going to therapy and stuff and learned how to appreciate his wife and treat her like a human being. So he, he kind of was like rehabilitated <coughs> in a sense. Sorry about the brass rap. <laughs> yeah. And um, I, I just found this so freaking hilarious. And uh, please consider liking and subscribing and stay tuned for your scripture of the day. Your scripture of the day comes from Psalms 102 verse 17 which says, He will listen to the prayers of the destitute. He will not reject their pleas. Okay, I guess that's it from me. Please sound off in the comments. I would love to know what your take is on the whole situation. Do you think that it is childish to want appreciation for doing the bare minimum in a relationship? You know my thoughts on the issue and I'd love to hear yours. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope that you have a phenomenal day further because you absolutely deserve it. Cheerio!